I don't know how closely you followed economic data this past week, but I can tell you it was pretty much lousy across the board. Anything from uh, Chinese uh, data, export data, for example, uh, to U.S. jobs numbers, to in Europe, bad, continuously more bad data, and the ECB actually going back to more stimulus uh, as opposed to doing anything that will be remotely called hawkish. Um, I continue to reiterate my cautious call here on the global economy and ultimately also on uh, risk assets, which includes stocks, um, high yield and other risk assets. So um, the one question I would ask you to ask yourself when we look at the following chart, is it really a chart that would get you to be bullish and buy stock again for more than sort of a trading uh, type of environment? So let me quickly flip the camera and the chart we're looking at here is that of the uh, transportation stocks is the IYT and I want you to pay close attention to that red line you can see here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this chart and I'll give you some perspective first of all here on the daily time frame so what you can see here is that that two, it's the 200 day moving average is what this red line is you can see how it acted as support 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 and we broke below it retested it then it became resistance in I guess that was late last year and now again, we're finding it as resistance. To me, that's not exactly bullish. If we take this a step further and um, we look at the weekly chart, meaning we use weekly time frames, you can see how last week the, uh, the uh, transportation stocks actually had a horrible, horrible week. In fact, I think it was 11 sessions in a row to the downside, something like the longest selling streak in something like 40 or 48 years I read. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Um, and here you can say that, see that 50 day, that's the 50 week moving average, you yellow line again, finding support, 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 and now resistance and resistance. Now again, that's just the technical aspect of it all. But to me, um, if I go a little bit deeper then and I look at some single name stocks, and I actually had to have a single name stock that I uh, offered to our paying clients in a video that I just finished off and sent out. And um, uh, I offered a, a trading, in a, a trading idea there based on uh, this chart on an individual stocks. So remember, that's what we do top down. Speaking of top down, I do want to make sure that, um, and we're going to start making a really big deal about this this week, that you sign up for our stocks, ETFs, and um, options summit. It's going to take place in late April. So let me flip the camera around. Oops, I'm not exactly good at this thingy here. Um, but uh, there, uh, have a look at the link. It's uh, down below in the commentary section or if you're watching this by uh, an email, it'll be an email as well. Uh, I can tell you it makes a huge, huge difference to attend a live workshop, particularly something like this, the Stock Options and ETF Summit, where not only you're gonna meet a lot of great people, uh, but certainly, uh, and most importantly, you're gonna learn a ton. Um, I cannot stress how important it is to, to get together in a physical room together with other people and really sit down uh, with us, go over you know strategies, your strengths and your weaknesses, work on a trading plan together. It is uh, far superior than anything you'll ever learn on a webinar as much as, as great as webinars are and everything, but there is that physical uh, in-person sort of thing that you just can't get. You can't learn that much and that quickly and go up learn and come back quickly anywhere else. Uh, in addition to that, again, a lot of camaraderie, you're gonna, gonna get a lot, gonna get to know a lot of successful traders and investors um, just like you or people just like you who are trying to become uh, more successful in trading and investing. And so it's always a lot of fun. So make sure you join us for that. Again, the link is down below or in the email if you got this by email. In the meantime, have a good start to the week and uh, I hope you are, uh, we're going to think about that transportation ETF chart that I showed you here in this video. I'll talk to you soon.